Yeah, dude, just big dinners. My body's like, can we just stop with the dinners? That'd be great. Right? Yeah, Tell you what, this is like the best venue for a conference. I mean, literally like on the beach, Fort Lauderdale. It's really about engaging the community. Like that was kind of like the consistent theme. Like what is my team gonna do to engage the community? And I think it's a fascinating thing because <clears throat> trying to engage a community when we say community right now, it's engaging the platform, which our platform has over 100,000 developers. So, not only am I trying to build community, but I'm also trying to engage as many hundred, as many as 100,000 developers as we have on the platform. It's an interesting problem to solve, for sure. my oyster this morning. I got eight hours of sleep, trying to get some work in, dropping the building public newsletter on LinkedIn, responding to some slacks. It's good to see you, Patrick. Good morning. Good morning. People probably like see my Instagram, they're like, oh, like, he gets to go like to the beach and stuff. Like, <laughs> my ass was up at 5, 5.30 this morning. It really should have been 5 to just get some work done. I barely scratched the surface and we gotta be at the conference in like 40 minutes. Now granted the conference is here, but it's not, I don't get to like go sunbathe. I just get to work by the ocean, which is a lot better than we work in, <laughs> in Nashville. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. I feel going up. So many people have like put my DMs about. Fresh out the frying pan into the fire. I be the music man's number one supplier. Fly it in a piece of paper bearing my name. Got the hottest chick in the game wearing my chain. That's right, ho. Not DOC, but similar to them letters. No one could do it better. I check cheddar like a food inspector. My homie Strick told me, dude, finish your breakfast. So that's what I'ma do. Take you back to the dude with the Lexus. Fast forward the jewels and the necklace. Let me tell you dudes what I do to protect this. Shoot at you actors like movie directors. <laughs> Two, three. Okay, there you go. Set to break. Panel coming up, feeling good. I was supposed to moderate three speakers, two of them bailed. It looks like, you know, I'll probably be talking a little bit more. This panel is gonna be basically like leading to diverse initiatives, being an ally in tech. And I think it's incredibly important. I think it's a topic nobody really talks about. And I think coming to the conferences like uh, Black Men in Tech and Render, what you realize is that uh, you need to be an ally to individuals. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's an incredibly important topic to me. It's a subject that's incredibly important to me. So I'm really excited to present on it. Uh, with some amazing individuals. So again, blessed to be here, grateful to be here. And uh, I am getting hungry. This <laughs> side note, this, this talk is like right in the middle of lunch. So we're gonna get through it and then I'm gonna eat. You excited? Yeah, excited. This, it's packed. What we really need to do is look at the core of what's going on within our organizations or with other people. Are we looking at the data? Are we looking at that people are being paid fairly? Are we making sure that people are getting promoted fairly? And we're doing it because it's the right thing to do to make sure that we have the right talent. I see the issues that are currently taking place. What can I do to put certain steps in place to be able to help these individuals in the workspace and company? I think that's an important thing as well. Individuals like myself can act like we know where individuals are coming from. Um, and we don't have a sense of empathy. And I think one of the things that I really try to do my best is, is God gave us two ears and a mouth for a reason, right? To listen twice as much as we talk. And even on this panel, I want to hear what you all have to say more than what I have to say. Because I think that's the first step 
of, of becoming an ally and also building inclusion and diversity in the workplace. Everybody here wants to network. Everybody here wants to talk to you. You do not need to be scared of that because literally one single conversation can change the trajectory of your career. Amen. Black Men in Tech Drive Tech Conference. Session two is down, done, down, done, down. Anyway, it was great. Um, uh, the energy, the energy was great. Questions were great. Crowd involvement was fantastic. Um, so we're done. Two of two done. So again, Cam and the team, thank you so much for having me. Um, catching a quick breather at the hotel room for a second, then go down to a, watch a few more sessions. And we got dinner. We got a render ATL after party tonight. It's going to be great. Thankful to be here. I've met so many amazing people. Can't wait for this evening and day two tomorrow. You know, it, it's been an interesting first week at work um, with all the conference travel and then also trying to, to lead a team. Uh, but this is something I absolutely love doing. This is the first type of opportunity where I've been in a true people management role. So um, at Vaco, I was a manager for a long time, but one of my friends said it best, I was a manager of emotions. I still had to produce, I still had to do the work. Went over to Gun, that was an individual contributor role, right? So I was very heads down just doing me. So this is the first time in my entire career I've been like truly having to delegate and hands off and not try to, trying to do every single thing. And I'm even finding myself trying to do every single thing. And so um, uh, we, have, we have a great team in place now, uh, but right now it's more about like thinking ahead, thinking six months down the road, thinking three weeks down the road. And so even like right now, which is I love working and traveling because my brain actually has time to think because I'm not on calls. Like we got a networking event we're going to here in an hour and a half, a little render ATL networking event um, at 10 o'clock, and uh, which is a little late for me, but I'm gonna go because I love render, I love Justin. Um, but yeah, it, this is just really good for me. It gives me the opportunity to think and to kind of like get out of my own head. I'm not in meetings and kind of let my mind wander which is what I'm trying to do in this role to be kind of become more creative. So back to it, probably, I mean, I want to work until 10 o'clock tonight and then we'll go network a little bit and pass out. me my Watch what you dishing in. Please play your safe because your position on the top is switching right in front your face. Rock it wide in space with rhymes are busting out. Keep ducking down, got some missiles now. Head this for your house. So put the pistols down. Got that red dot on your nose. Who put the clown? I like jaws like the blue nose foes. Keep your mouth closed or you can see the soap, dog. I got connections that guarantee to see close dogs. Two of Black Man in Tech Thrive Tech Conference. Got a little walk-in. It's a little mid-morning right now, but got a little walk-in, feeling good. Gonna go watch some sessions. Gonna work this afternoon. Uh, but another great day down in Fort Lauderdale. I mean, look at this view. It's gonna be a great day. Let's get it. Right now, I am going through my text messages to see who I've met at this conference so far and making a note to follow up with them. Because I think one of the biggest problems that most people do when they get to these conferences, they meet all these people and then like they don't follow up with anybody. Saturday night, we are going out to the VIP speaker dinner. Last night, I said elevated casual. My God, not bad, right? I'm not even a car guy, and this is uh, the vibes are immaculate. Immaculate. You gotta get the vlog. You gotta get the vlog. It is 10 o'clock. It is way past my bedtime. I'm sure y'all gonna go to like 1 or 2 a.m., but not me. I'm tired. Heck of a time. Cam, the team at Black Man Tank, thank you so much for having me. Blessed to be here. Home to Nashville tomorrow. Peace.